This one I had me cracking up, guys. Okay, so hello. Let's go ahead and read this. This just had me cracking up. I know y'all can read along, but if you're listening to this um, in another way, just enjoy. Did you see Coonstripes are making a comeback? Oh, no, I didn't see that. I better do some soon. I forgot about that. The old sceny days. Um, weird question. Sup? <laughs> I always <laughs> I always wondered what your boobs look like in school. Statement, I guess. Now, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen, uh let me let me just break it down for you right quick. Okay, let me just go ahead and break that down for you. Never, ever, ever straight out come out and say that to a woman. Okay, listen, man. I understand being a horn dog. I understand you, you make some mistakes. But if you ever have to come out and say these words in the text messages, hey, weird question. If you ever have to say weird question. You already screwed up, my friend. Never, ever, ever text that. Another thing you never do is, hey, can I ask you a question? Those two, you need to just go ahead and cut it off right there. If you say the words weird question or can I ask you something? Step away there, friend, because anything you say after that, the relationship is over. Because you wouldn't know if you did, you would know if you could ask the question, you wouldn't have to. See, some of you men think that if you just go out there and shoot your shot and say something silly, like, can I see a picture of your butt cheeks? No, <laughs> that's not how it works. If you ever have to say, hey, can I ask you a question? You know what? Just ask the question. Just go ahead and ask it. Because if it's not weird, you should be able to say, hey, I was wondering, uh, did you know if there was a game tonight? That's so simple. But if you know the question is going to be, hey, do you mind if I come over and uh, brush your hair? Yeah, see, buddy, that's not going to go well. It's not going to go well for anyone. That's when you step away. So don't forget the lesson of the day, kids. If you have to ask, don't. All right, let's see how this wraps up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Statement, I guess. Yeah, that is a weird statement. Cheese. Smiling emoji. The weird creepy one. Gonna skip the question portion. My bad, OLO. Good idea. Because in the 20 years we've known each other, I have never expressed that I was sexually interested in you. And even if I had, you knew from the beginning of this conversation and from my profile that I'm married. So any prior interest would have been snuffed out anyway. But even not considering either of those two things, it's just disrespectful and inappropriate. And you lost a friend for life. This is why you should, men, 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 let me talk to y'all. Married men, let me talk to y'all for a second. This is why you never let your woman be friends with no man. Men are always looking to pipe down. They ain't trying to be Mr. Right. They're trying to be Mr. Right now. So, men, if your wife is talking about any guy that she talks to, you need to go ahead and snuff that out quick. You need to be like, uh, no. Not because you don't trust her, but men, they going to shoot they shot. Oh, they going to shoot they shot. And in some cases, men, your woman, she might fuck up. She might fuck up. She might be pissed off at you one night. She may be pissed. She may be emotional. She may be crazy. And that it's going to take that one guy to slip in. Hey, baby girl. Maybe not, hey, baby girl, but... Hey, are you all right, Susie? You want to go out to eat? Maybe I can get you some ice cream. And guess what she's about to do? Well, you know how that ends, sir. Men, watch your women. Let's see what else we got. That one was the best. Once again, guys. Oh. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Who is this? Uh, this is Dorian. Uh, Dorian gave me your card. What's up? Oh, hey, Dorian. Yeah, I remember you. Have you talked to your boss about getting to use us? Yeah, I did. He was thinking, he is thinking it over. Can I take you out? Take me out? We can do lunch. That's fine. Maybe see if you can bring your boss. I really want to work with y'all. I want to work with you. I want to work with you till you are so damn hot. 
Sorry for speaking my mind. Got me thinking. See, man? You see right there? Before we could even get a couple messages down, the wheels already fall off the bus. <laughs> you men are some nasty mother suckers. See, married men don't tend to go crazy like this. But I don't know. It's something about these men who talk to married women. Boy, they just get their rocks off. Some reason they pick her get hard when they think about getting with a married woman because it's a power thing. They want to take you from a man. They See, men don't care. When a man is single and he starts hitting that desperation, he don't give no fucks. He do not care. He do not care. He's a coward because he's doing it behind a man's back. And you know, he he knows he don't want to see you face to face. But yeah, men who go after married women, these sickos, they get off to it, man. They get off to it. They don't care. They're going to shoot their shot because they're desperation. They don't care if they lose. They, They don't care if they lose. They don't care if they're your friend. They don't care what happens. They don't care if you ever speak to them ever again. They do not care. These men will go for anyone and everyone. Why he's sending this same text message to her, he's sending this same text message to someone else. Best believe. Shit, it's all good. Little flirting don't hurt no one. And y'all talk to him about it. It is t- it is too much to say. What I want it is, is it too much to say what I want than shaking my head? He a lucky man. Thank you. He is a lucky man. See, see this shit right here, ladies? Thank you. He's a lucky man with a quiet emoji. See, some of you women just got to cut it off right there. You're like, all right, appreciate you. Well, goodbye. Now, she's trying, to look like she's trying to get a network thing going here. But if it's me, a woman, you know, women, if y'all get text messages like this, be like, all right, good night. Or goodbye. Block. But, you know, she's trying to get that network in. Okay, great. Let me know, and I'll send y'all a calendar to invite for lunch. Can I get your email, please? Yeah, you're going to have to work for that email, girl. Damn, girl, it's too bad you got a man. I want to take you off and take you out and show you off. Thank you for the compliment. I just really want to work with your company. If you can help me make that happen. See, ladies, go through somebody else at this point. Walk away from it. I just don't see the pride. And this is what, this man, this is what you get sometimes when you get these damn career women. But let me not get into that. You're going to have to, work. all right. You're going to, you got me about to pull over and do something that. What a creep. Let me finish that. Let me not leave y'all hanging. You got me about to pull over and doing something do and do something thinking about you damn girl i know you are good sorry for speaking my mind and all i'll make that happen for you can i get a pick or two sweetie no see women i like that answer no now that's sexy the word no now that's hot because it means what the fuck it means i'm sorry <laughs> let me calm down hit me up when you decide you wanted to get dick down see these motherfuckers they don't care they savages. They're going out there for everything. Lick it up. Ow. Oh, scraps it all. Oh. These are the same men who are like, I will drink your dirty bath water. They do not care. Women, when you get across men like this, these are dangerous men because they do not care if they get fired. They don't care if they go to jail. These are the creepiest men you'll find. These kind of men don't give a F. They have nothing to lose. Only you do. You have a husband to lose. You have kids to lose. You have a house to lose. You have a career to lose. You can lose your dignity, respect. These motherfuckers, they got no respect. They don't have nothing to lose. They will go down in flames and take you with them and bury your life. And they'll wake up the next day and text another girl. Hey, girl, you mind if I see your boobs? Bro, are you serious? Aren't you married with kids? I would stop talking like that if I was, you see? And that's the wrong response, ladies. That's when you say goodbye. You're you're agging, you're at, so when you put smiling emojis, creepy men like this, they see that laughing emoji, I got a chance. I bet this conversation kept getting worse and worse. Tell me, y'all. Let's see if I can find one more. Two of y'all in here, can I get just one more like? Help help your boy out. Give, give, give me, oh, there's only one person in here, never mind. Made the rookie mistake of letting my ex-colleague give me a ride. He now thinks it's acceptable to drop over at my house. Let's get it going. So that means I probably won't be able to hang out until next year because I'm leaving for blankety blank on the 20th. Can you please not call me that? 
call you what? Habiti? I think it's Habiti. Wow, really? Why? But okay, I'll stop if you deem it inappropriate. So that means, see, he's replying to that same thing we just said. Hey, that's great. I'm glad you're making such large tries with your thesis. I fully support your decision and your effort to smash it out in the next month. I really, I know you'll really do well. Really well. Says her name. Go get it. Wish you the best. That being said, though, can I come see you tomorrow night, evening? Night slash evening? I couldn't help myself, and I got to get, get you something again. I'm... I'm hopeless, haha. If you're busy, it can be during your break. I'll set a timer for 20 minutes, and when it goes off, I'll run away as fast as I can. <laughs> Even if you're mid-sentence, I'll be out of your hair quicker than Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> she says nothing. So, some time goes by. Looks like three hours go by. Yo, what you up to? Hungry? Hey, sorry, I know you're busy. This is another two hours later. Hey, sorry, I know you're busy, but you want to have a quick smoke? I'll ring you in five minutes. Gentlemen, don't you ever text more than once. Okay? If she if she didn't get it, she didn't get it. You move on with your life. Maybe, maybe text back in 48 hours. This is already a creepster, already being weird. She said, don't call me something, so you already know it was off to a rough start. He was calling her a name that she felt was very inappropriate. Hey, sir, there's no romance going on here. There's no romance going on. But see, men like this, they do not care. They live their life in a fantasy land, and they just want something. It's called desperation. And when that desperation hits, it hits like crack. I'm telling y'all the truth. Some of y'all don't understand how desperate men really get. But when men get desperate, they turn into real creeps because they don't know that they're becoming a creep. They're just like, I just got to get it. However I get it, if I don't get another hit, I'm going to go crazy. <clears throat> it's a bit late for that, don't you think? What did you get me when I explicitly told you I don't want you to get me things? It's never too late for a quick smoke. <laughs> you see this you're here, gentlemen? What did you get me? When I explicitly told you I don't want you to get me things. What did I tell y'all? Desperate. Creep. She started the conversation by saying, don't call me that. And he said, I'm going to get you something. And she already had told him, do not get me anything. This is already gone south. It's about to get weirder. Let's continue. I know, but I have a feeling you you won't hate you won't hate what I got you this time. Free? No, I've had a smoke and I'm off to bed. Now I'm exhausted. I'm already on my way. <laughs> I'm already on my way. Oh my gosh, these are the weirdest people on the planet. They are saying I'm already on the way. I see how it sounds. Well, turn well turn around then. Aw, sad face. At what point did I say yes? That's okay. I'll drop them off outside. Ha ha. Put the camera on me. I'll drop them off. Ha ha. He's not getting the picture at all. Y'all notice he's still laughing. He's still going. Ha 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 ha. And she's like, "Leave me away, you fucking freak." He's like, <laughs> you're so silly. I'll be, I'll be over there a little bit. Uh, please don't come over. I'll drop him off. Okay. Can you please not come over to my house? All right. I'm at your house. That's when you call the police. Whoop whoop. That's a sign of the police. Whoop whoop. That's a sign of the police. Which I know about that. I've already told you to. I already told you not to come to my house uninvited. That's creepy as f. I appreciate you trying to do something nice, but what would I appreciate more is for you to listen to me and respect my boundaries. And what do y'all think he's going to say? Why do you make it sound like I, I camp outside your house in my spare time? 
fine. It's fruit and they expire. And I won't see you for a few months. I kind of have to do this. Just give me this one. You'll love the other thing I got you. <laughs> I know you will. Don't worry about it. And stop making a big deal about it. Go to sleep. You'll find it in the morning. And what I got you is very naughty. Shout out to Coward, the Coward, your dog. I'm encouraged to Coward, your dog. You're such a weirdo. <laughs> he says a face with the tongue sticking out for my listeners. That's not a compliment. Part of me is glad I'm moving soon. You won't know where I live. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> it's okay. I'm hopeful I'll learn. I'll earn your trust one day. Here. Mailbox or outside the door, you fucking weirdo. You are still outside of her house when she has asked you to please leave me alone. Please do not come by. Please, I am afraid of you. Please, you are a creep. I am glad I am moving away from you. I pray to God every night. I do everything I can. I burn candles at night, thanking God every night that I will never, ever, ever have to speak to you for the rest of my life. <laughs> hey, where do you want me to put your fruit? Desperation, men. It is the dangerous drug. Desperation will make men do the sickest things ever known to man. <laughs> Y'all don't understand it, ladies. When a man gets desperate, it, it, it will break them down into animals. Y'all remember how in the Lord of the Rings, I'm not, a, I'm not, I don't understand the Lord of the Rings. Okay, don't get at me. But the guy who runs around and is like, Precious, my precious. About the ring, that's what men turn into when they don't get attention from women in their weird. They slowly dissolve into attention, attention. I need your attention. That's what men do. LOL, it's a, oh, doesn't fit in your mailbox, so I'll leave it outside your door. It's in a McDonald's bag. Sorry. <laughs> Good night, Lucy Woosie. Good, and that's not her name. I just made up something. Good luck with your thesis. Let me know when you've opened it. There's a story behind each one of those items, and hopefully she blocked them and they never talked ever again. Once again, guys, the creepiness and the disgustingness of these people, a man who is desperate is a man who is dangerous. And they just, they don't get the picture. I'm hoping she blocked them. I hope it, they never spoke again. But thank you for coming back to my creepy messages at night but if you're watching this during the day thank you for coming to creepy messages during the day and if you're watching this in the afternoon thank you for coming to creepy messages when it's nine in the afternoon peace